Your testimony will be by the mercy of God. In the mighty name of Jesus. So today we want to look at something strong. Exercising your authority over the devil. Exercising your authority over the devil. Exercising your authority over the devil exercising your authority over the devil now three things we want to look at and then one we want to see the authority we have over the devil what authority we have over the devil number two is what i call authority caution authority caution number one again or the authority we have over the devil number two authority caution and number three is secrets to exercising your authority over the devil. The authority we have, our caution when we want to exert this authority and then the secrets to exercising this authority over the devil. Pray for yourself. Place your two hands on your chest. Spirit of God, the word of God will produce in my life today. Pray for yourself. Go ahead and pray that prayer. Very simple prayer. Spirit of God, the word of God will produce in my life today. Let it be Jesus. Let the word of God produce in the life of the people of yours on ground and online. In Jesus' precious name. Amen. Okay, so let's begin. So by default again, I'm going to use NIV, please. And KJV, sorry. New King James Version. Glory to God. Now, please understand. The whole essence of having authority is to do as occasion serves you. The whole purpose of Jesus giving us authority is to lord it over the enemy, the devil himself. We have been given this license to do. That is what authority is. Remember, permission, grant, delegated power. That's what authority is. As believers in Christ, to have it as we desire. So the whole reason for authority is to do as occasion serves us. Now understand every believer has authority over the devil every believer i say it again hear this strong every believer has authority over the devil why jesus said so why authority has been given to you why it is your right in redemption the devil is not lord over anyone's life you see i've told you continually the devil is not a factor when it's got to do with how your life is to evolve and what your life is to result into the devil is not a factor stop being childish in christ jesus by redemption authority was transferred to you all that god had he gave to jesus all that jesus had he gave you by authority someone said here the devil is not a factor. If he is, I should have been dead. If he is, this work should have closed. Especially when you don't have a backup from anyone. Or looking, paying homage to someone to sponsor. You get what I said? If he is, I should have compromised and changed my words so that um, people can favor me. Sir, it is authority that makes me talk the way I talk. You know what I said, sir? If not, I was um, so I can be looking at your faces. By the way, your faces are beautiful. So I then I'm, and now and I want to talk and now mm, huh? the way by your day is looking, it won't help me again. Do you understand? Tap your neighbor, say the devil is not a factor. Look at that person sternly. Say the devil is not a factor over my life, including your life. And your family listen to this sir. it is because you have over pampered him that's why he's lording it he's doing what sir he's lording it over you 
I will show you some things today and then you will resolve. That probably you don't even need to meet a man of God to counsel you, to join you in faith. Probably, yeah, probably the closest. Maybe to just join your faith with ease. Not that, oh, man of God, pray for me. Man of God, assist me. Man of God, my life is going down. Already you are defeated by saying that. And that's what the devil wants to hear. Sir, what is the essence of a thing that you have and you don't know how to use it? Seller, think on this. What is it? For some of us who are in my club, it's not football club, relax. Because some of us are smiling. Oh, no. The club of phones. The only reason I'm holding phone is to say, hey, you, that's all. Huh? I don't know how to operate anything. When I'm very confused, I call good man. You know what I say, sir? You can see how funny it is. What is the essence of what you have and you don't know how to operate it? My God. My God. Someone is coming free finally today. You see, hear this, sir. The language of your victory is your ability to exert your authority over the devil. Write it down. The language of your victory is your ability to exert your authority over the devil. The language of your victory is your ability to exert your authority over the devil. Hmm. Your ability to exert your authority. I mean, your ability to exercise your authority over the devil. Let me show you what happened. Jesus did. Matthew chapter 28 and verse 18. Jesus said, All authority, all in heaven and on earth had been handed over to me. Verse 19 said, Therefore, all you need to do is to go. Is to do what, sir? Go. And what were you to go to do? Huh? Mark 16 from verse 15 to verse 18 comparing scripture to scripture the first thing there again Jesus said to them go the same thing he said in that Matthew 28 and verse 19 go he said now go into the world I'm giving you more details and preach the gospel to every creature the word preach again is the Greek word keruzo it means to demonstrate to show to announce because Christ in you is for showing. It's for announcement. Do you know what I said somebody? It's to show your victory. So go into the world and show who you are. Let them know who you are. Don't close that shop because they are threatening you. Don't resign because you saw one pot in front of your door. Don't walk out because you had a slight challenge and a confrontation go and represent me every creature will know that you came ah i decree in the name of jesus the world has not seen anything yet but they will hear about you oh that amen is not for you it's for those online verse 16 said he who believes and is baptized will be saved and that's what had happened to you and then he, he does not believe and, and I believe a lot of people are saved here and in case you're not saved at the close of the service a privilege will be given to you please hand over your heart to Jesus that's the best life you can live on this earth but 17 so for those who believe and are baptized and are saved read what will begin to happen to them loud one two go Verse 18. Now, look at this with me, sir. Look at this. I have given you authority. So go. 
Now, these signs will follow you if you can understand what you carry. In my name, verse 17. What is amazing is this. In my name, the first thing that you display in without authority is to do what, sir? Cast out. If I say, let's speak in thongs, and all of you will speak in thongs. But when last you cast out devils? The Bible never said, Pastor will cast it out. You shall cast out devils. <laughs> Not one, devils. So there are devils of all kinds. Level of Anisa. Carondo Stavelemana. Right, rise your feet, lift up your right hand. Say, in the name of Jesus, I take my position in my authority. For I have authority to cast out devils. Therefore, every devil hanging around my life. Out! Sit down. We are stirring up something. <laughs> to cast out. See, authority is for exercising. <laughs> you know what I said, somebody? Authority is for what, sir? Exercising. You exercise authority. When 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 we were to come here, you know, I made a man of God who said, ah, that have you don't notice that mm, it will just say all kind of thing that mm, uh, are you sure it's, I say wait relax we, we, we have been here for 12 years I'm not, and then we are not even up to 12 I said excuse me I'm not interested with that that's not what I came for I came here for something so I gathered the people with me and then we pray and in one of the revelations I saw how true how real I said okay now so it is authority over authority you too, you have authority, I have authority. So let's see the authority that will submit. But I remember Jesus said, all authority in heaven and on earth. So we, which other space left? Has been given to him and he handed it over to me. Authority transferred, remember? He handed it over to who? To you. So why should you chicken out? Why should you be jelly hearted? Why should you fear? What is that? What is wrong with you? Who is it that is threatening you? That you submit to? Who has that proclivity to determine how your life should run? What is that thing that is confronting you and you are looking for alternative? When God did not say you should go for alternative. Let me bring you to your life. L listen to this. Listen. So many years ago, I heard Kenneth Hagin say, precisely in 1952, he said he had an encounter with Jesus for 90 minutes. And he said, I, you know, you know, I don't know what you hear and what you desire. When I, when I heard about this many years ago, I said, so someone can have an encounter with Jesus and Jesus will be teaching him. I didn't know I would be a pastor. I told God then. I said, God, so even those little things you say, when we thought it was ordinary. That's why I always make, always want you to always repeat what I say. Confession. Because that is what determines ultimately how you will end. Then I say, Lord. So it's possible that you can appear. And I say, Lord, you will teach me. Today, I don't read anybody's books. I don't listen to anybody. I hear God directly. Just say, okay, leave what you're doing. Start writing. I can't hear. Repeat. Do you understand what I'm trying to say? Even in sleep sometimes, it will bring the note. So, I'm sleeping, but immediately I pick up my pen. It, it, it begins to return back. With scriptures I've never opened before. And versions that don't look like. Sometimes I've asked, is there any version like this? They will now have to download it for me. My God. My God, Israel. So he said, in 1952, 90 minutes, he had this strange encounter. Jesus came to him and taught him how to deal, listen to this, with devil, demons, and evil spirits by authority. He said so. Kenneth Egan of Precious, remember so a few weeks ago, we saw him, we looked at him as a veteran. And then he said, Jesus began to talk to him. This, that, 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 that. He said, all of a sudden, he saw a demon who looked like a small monkey 
and began to weep and make some crazy cracking noise. According to him, he said he was making noise because he, he, I read it again in the book, in, in, in his book, he said he was making noise like yekati, yekati, like that, causing distractions. And then he released a smoke, this demon. And how, how that many a times, this is the story of many believers. The devil distracting you, manipulating you. You got the fire of the, the, the discipleship. Suddenly, one month after, it doesn't look like you came around. You are under a hot fireplace like this. And you are not reflecting what Christ came to do in your life. And you can't see that the devil is manipulating. But today, today is the final activity of the devil over your life. Let the enemy be strongest. Now he said, suddenly, that activity, edit, continued. And the smoke, he said he was not trying and struggling to see Jesus. What is happening? He said he became afraid and he began to panic. But he saw, hear this, he saw, he heard Jesus still talking. And Jesus was not moved. So he was confused. Do you know what I'm trying to say? He was seeing Jesus talking. Suddenly a demon came, began to make silly noise, began to release smoke. He couldn't see, he couldn't hear well. And Jesus kept talking. That gave him a concern. So he was wondering. Ah! He said if he didn't do anything, he would miss out. So he said from nowhere, he just said, now in the name of Jesus, I command this nonsense to cease. And he said, with his eyes open, that demon, pa, stopped. He went ahead and said, in the name of Jesus, I destroyed that activity now, forever, pa. He said, he saw the demon, whom, and began to whimp like a child. And then, gasping for breath, finally, he said, out. He said, the demon disappeared. But suddenly, he now asked Jesus, Excuse me, sir. Stop, stop teaching. I'm not getting it. How come you and I were communicating? You were talking and the devil is around. Can I help you, sir? The devil does not respect location. Even in church. I've told you the greatest demons are in church. Don't think everybody you see is okay. The greatest demons are in church. The, because I, I saw her in church. Because you saw her in church doesn't mean she's the one. She might have been planted for 30 years in church. I can, I can bore you with such a story. 30 years in church to be waylaying you even before you join the church. Because, you see, you see, it's, it's not, I'm not here to preach demonology. Because, you see, the kingdom of darkness is very strategic. They do, it's you that does things carelessly. They plan. They are people of order. They plan their things. They are not careless. It's you that woke up this morning and said, mm, mini, mini, my which church will I go to? Father, they don't care. No, no, no. They plan. They plan to be in church. They plan, they plan their life. They plan what they do. Now, hear this. So he said, Jesus, why? How can you be there? And I, your servant, and the demon, Jesus didn't even give him answer because you know the answer yourself. Even when the Bible said, when the sons of God were, were around with God, what happened in the time of Job? Satan was around. Satan was around, sir. Satan was around. That's why you can't afford to keep allowing the devil space around your life. You will hear the word of God now by evening. You will hear another thing that will affect you. It's because you allowed him. You gave the space for it to happen. And then, you know, I don't understand. I don't understand. What is it that you don't understand? You allowed him. The devil has no power. It is the space you give to him that he uses against you. It is the room you allow him. Now, hear this. So he said, Jesus said to him, I would not have done anything. Take note. These are his words. Jesus said, I would not have done anything. If you, Kenneth, didn't do anything. He said he asked Jesus four times and he repeated, I would not have done 
anything if you cannot didn't do anything he said again i would would not have done anything if you cannot didn't do anything so he said what what is that jesus said to him i didn't say i could not i said i would not why he said he asked him kenneth asked him he said because all authority is not with me again jesus said to him there's nowhere in the new covenant believer that i come to help people when it's got to do with the devil the new covenant believer has the right over the devil oh i now see yes someone is saying that's the reason why this thing has been staying too long exactly you have allowed it jesus said take note kenneth i didn't say i could not i would not don't forget one of the things i've taught you the law of god is also the law for god what god said is is also applied to, applying to him I get what i'm trying to say all authority has been given to me and i gave it to you so don't ask me ha huh. he said jesus so what are you saying he said yes i can't do anything when it's got to do with the devil on earth again then jesus brought him to revelation chapter 24 verse 1 to 3 it's not time to to read it but take note of it the bible said and that's why i want some of you statement like in the name of jesus i cast the devil into the bottomless pit is not your right you are not the one to cast him to the bottomless pit. It's not even Jesus to cast him to the bottomless pit. That relationship of the 24 verse 1 to 3 said it is the end about an uh, end journey of his stay on earth when the angel will come and cast him, binding him to chains and cast him into the bottomless pit. Then we reign for a thousand years. Are you with me somebody? So Jesus said to him, use the authority every time you have the right to exert your authority sir listen to this sir this authority we are talking about is not what you worked for it's what was transferred to you do you hear what i said sir as long as you are born again in christ jesus that authority has been handed over to you lift up your right hand and say in the name of jesus i have authority over the devil and i take my place over the situations of your my, my life now. now because you have it sir you have it look at these scriptures now jesus now said he told jesus actually can i think he told jesus that i don't believe what you have said until you give me scriptures <laughs> you know that's so beautiful because that's another lesson for someone like me until you give me what sir scriptures you know i've told you that I always tell him, if you don't give me scripture, I can't go and tell them. If you don't give me scripture, there's nothing to tell them. I learned it from Kenneth again. And then Jesus brought him into scriptures. Let me show you. The ones you know and the ones you don't know. Ah. Someone said the devil's time is up. Over my life. In the name of Jesus. Hey, see, as I'm talking right now, begin to build anger within you. There are things you have allowed. That's why it has stayed too long. There are things you have permitted. That's why the devil is still ranting and making stupid noise around. Did you hear what I said, sir? Remember I told you some few weeks ago about the dogs that used to make silly noise. Anything 12. Lord, what's happening in my estate? and all the dogs and we have quite some number of good dogs because when you take take them on the walk you see some beautiful dogs and they, all of them making the same kind of noise. oh oh they are not backing oh and you know you know that we don't need to go to far africans you know now which they happen there oh 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 even cats i forgot to tell you cats i, I have you heard the cry of cats before they sound like babies the same time what is happening so i just now before then so i used to just pray in my room and then after a while i just found myself praying I was, but i didn't observe it now you want to hear the shocker i'm talking about i had stayed there about maybe 10 or 11 months you know there are things you just don't uh, did observe i just took it as normal ah i knew something was wrong 
So immediately I hear those cries, all including my own dogs. They'll be responding to the same. I said, what an insult. Why, why did I react? Because I noticed that when I start speaking in tongues, when I come out up in, in the veranda up there, my dogs will come around down there, down there, and they too just oh, you understand what I'm trying to say? If they're speaking, only God knows what they're saying. But you do you understand? But suddenly, even when I'm praying, and I, it is when this cry comes, they too join them. Oh, oh, what is this nonsense? I kept praying, I don't understand. So one, one time, I just said, okay, I, the mystery God had given to me, water. Any water I see, bag, bag, toilet water, bathroom water, my own drinking water, any water I see, sir. In fact, there was a time, the one day I, I finished duty, eat semo, I just carried it, woo, woo, it ceased. I said, but will I continue like this? It ceased until when I understood. Jesus won't come down to tell this thing to stop until I place my feet. They've not born any dog to say, oh, in my estate again. They've not born that dog. Because in the place of consistency, in the place of prayer, God said to me, there's a strong man that goes for meeting at that time. I observe that anything past three, when he's returning back, all these dogs again, Maybe they say, welcome, welcome, welcome. I don't know. They'll just, they'll start crying again. So I knew, no, no, no. When a strong man keep it, it's good, it's good. He said, but when a stronger than he comes, it binds him. So no, 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 no. Get out, my friend. Enough of that nonsense. Jesus won't come down over that situation in your family. Mercy. You stand on your authority in the name of Jesus and you exercise it and you exert it you stand by faith this is what I want you don't change your mind even when your, your, your brother is still misbehaving you put your foot on the ground in the name of Jesus it's a turn to my family for a testimony don't shift your ground let's play with scriptures Luke chapter 10 and verse 19 TLB I feel like doing something. Place your right hand on your head and shout out! Ah! Ah! Huh? Sir, he said when a strong man keeps his goods, he's safe. It's just be there. He's just there. No problem. No problem. He's having a few day. No problem. You now say it's our family problem. Is an is a, is a ancestral problem. It's in our family. Chapter what verse what? Have you forgotten the family you belong to? Family of Christ. And this devil is having a few day. And the next person they want to take again is this one. Is that one. Is this one. Is that one. I told you about my, my, my brother's wife. My brother's wife. Yes. My brother's wife. Came from a root whereby insanity. It just happens and grew up to the eyes like that then suddenly his son came he said son too got the same thing he was studying chemical engineering in university of ibano 300 level he was on first class suddenly at the top um second semester of 300 level exam was to come madness just started how can you explain it tell me the explanation what is the explanation how can you explain it madness just started so they now began to ask you know history now grandfather father mother this one Abba. so my brother called a man of god i said just anyhow packaging by air the packaging went to pick him at the airport i said now that you have come that's the end i'm not sure i prayed one of the things i did one of those nights i vacuated my bed sleep on this bed he's in his final year now not a dime not an evil. I stand on the authority of the finished work of the cross. And I speak to that family age-long disaster. And I command it in the name of Jesus to give up for you and your family now! Amen. How long will you keep nursing the devil in your family? I came from a family whereby nothing should happen. But not one member of my family is a victim of hell now not one member remember what you have been taught god has raised you as a priest over your home over your home ladies and gentlemen you have been raised as a priest over your home 
what happens in the realm of the spirit is determined by the priest. Check your village, sir. The priest, the priest of your village calls the shots, not the king. Even the king is served by the priest. You don't know who you are. The believer's authority. You don't know who you are, sir. You have enough, enough. Please get angry. Get angry. He's having a field day. He's passing the button from your father to you. Now your children are so waiting for their turn. That devil is a bastard. Listen to me. Hear me. He was not there, bless him, when, he, when God created you. He was not there when he gave you a mandate over your life. He can't be the one to determine your future and how things should be and span out for you. You have been given authority. Listen to me. I'm not bringing a very powerful message. Listen, I just want you to understand. Maybe you were sleeping. Wake up! You have been given authority over the devil. So it is not, sir. That, so when I tell you it's not a factor, this is one of the things that I know. It cannot determine what happens to me. It cannot. Do you hear what I say, sir? So Jesus has been stranded. They are waiting for you, Victor. He's stranded. The same way tokenness. I can't, there's something I can do. So just imagine. So that demon will have had a few days. There's nothing I can, there's nothing God can do more than what he had done. It's time to use it. What's the essence of having a gun with bullets and you're not shooting? Huh? What's the essence? What's the essence of having a car with fuel and you're not driving? What's the essence? You know the reality, sir? For my father's side, all of them have problems. All of them have what, sir? Problems. There's nobody doing well apart from his own children. Because I said, no, sir. I can't be called into priesthood. And, and there's nothing that reflects priesthood in my extended family. Do you understand what I'm saying, sir? I challenge you today, sir. Don't look for any man of God again. No. Physician, heal yourself. I challenge you today because he sent me to you. Stop that nonsense. What is that prophet you are calling? Huh? You are not turned into prayer contractors. Send money to the account so that they can pray for you. Pray for what? Meanwhile, authority has been given to you and you are not using it. And you let the devil have a few days over your life. And when the devil is writing a list of the people he has victimized and troubled, and your name is still there. But today, the last day of April 2023, you are coming out victorious in Jesus' name. Are you with me, somebody? Please, I'm not here to make, bring to you a make-belief system to get you excited. All the demons put together cannot stop what God has sent before. I'm not saying it because of anointing. I'm saying it because of authority Luke chapter 10 let's begin from here from verse 19 let's do TLB sir Luke chapter 10 verse 19 TLB this is Jesus speaking now you see every word and every scripture now begin to see yourself in, inside it huh? are you ready read one two go over all the power of the enemy and to walk among serpents and scorpions and to crush them nothing shall injure you he's not talking about serpent and scorpion the one you saw in your house and the one no 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 see there are serpentine experiences that's there are scorpionic attacks in the realm of the spirit that hear me Hear, hear this that written testimony that was shared that person said in case you don't understand the detail i decided to turn this way the other side so pa hit the leg pa pain 
excruciating pain, cried for mourning, for whatever, 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 and then applied water. It went. Now hear this. Later, during the CIT, God now said, if you have slept that position, it will have been attack on your heart for you to die. Do you understand, sir? You see, uh, the, the beloved prof said something. I'm taking it out of context, but I want to bring it to a context for what I'm saying. You see, the, the, the calamity of the believer is through the believer's hand. You have authority. Hey, do you know what you need to do, Sister Yeti? Now that you're a, you're a brand new woman in Christ. You see, you step into your house. I take authority over this place. You know what I said, sir? You, I'm not saying close your eyes and begin to do that. Stop doing like a vagabond and, and, and an idiot in office. See, bring sanity to your office. Hello, how are you saying? God bless you. Well done. And then just five seconds, I take authority over this place. I mean, do you know, do this how I post? I... <laughs> do you understand? You see, believe me, sir, I'm not bragging. I'm telling you the truth. David is an idiot. He hates me with passion. Why? Because I communicate the truth of God's word to you. And I don't care because he cannot do she she. She she singba. He can't do it. Over me. Because I stand in authority. Because I'm a man under authority, having authority. We look at that very very soon. Do you understand somebody? It's time, sir. It's time that your voice must be heard. Because you have to use it. Beloved, you have to use it. You have to use it one time. Let me tell them. Oh God, I can I can bore you with stories here. Since Brother Benny said you like stories, one time my daughter went to school. She went to the library. That was about maybe eight or nine years ago. And picked a book from the library, and she read, and then everything just. She just came back. They brought her home. I think I traveled. I can't remember, but I knew it happened to the following day, and then everything just. She was just behaving off, 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 totally off. And I said, what's happening now? I said, relax. I said, so explain to me because I like details. Explain to me what happened. So this book, I, so where's the book? They brought the book. So I read. Oh. As I began to read, the first thing I saw was that my sight were blurry. Meaning they didn't give me access. I, I, what was happening? I'm not blind. I get what I'm trying to say. So I strained to see and I saw some lines. Ooh, these are not normal. These books, do you understand? It's, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying um, there's a spirit on the book. The book was written evil. It's evil. You know, like I report out this kind of stuff. I you know, you know, and that's why you see, as a child of God, there are some things you don't step into other people that are not saved can step into it and escape. But as a child of God, there is a countering. Do you understand what I'm trying to say? So, that's what. So, don't, don't, go, don't go there. It's not about she was wrong. She went to the library to pick any book. Don't go there. Is that okay? And then that was it. So, I said, okay. So, I said, hey! I called that daughter's name. What's happening? So, <laughs> Daddy, help me. Help me. They're just, uh, they're hurting me. They're been, they're this one. They're been, I just say, okay, devil. Well, it was yesterday you came, so it's time to go. I put our two hands and, and I put into her ears and I shouted, Out! Sir, you don't say out. Out. <laughs> I shouted, Out! If, if it's too high for you, those of you in upper and next, please forgive me. Huh? That was all I did. And then she began to manifest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I said, well, if you finish manifesting, you'll get out. You know, you know, you know, you are the one that used to waste your time. Say, so, why are you manifesting? Why are you manifesting? Where is your name? Where do you come from? Who I beat you? I beat her. You really get <laughs> when it's not French professor class you are doing. <laughs> and then when she should, and then she said, Phew. I will share another testimony of another, another, another child. I had to move her from, from that child now in Abuja now. Now, she went to school. They gave her, I can't remember, a gift. You know this funny nonsense? At the end of the day, they said from the gifts they gave to her, 
all kind of crazy things. Funny things, you know. In fact, I'm trying to remember the picture, but I, I will make that child one of these days to come and share it for you, to want to understand how you must love things. You must be in charge. Is that okay? So they threw all kind of things. It was a birthday. They brought up. Can you imagine another child giving another child a, di a diagram and writing the future of the child and using pin to chuck it as a gift? Hmm? You see, believe me, I saw stories like this. I do used to have too many. If the if the if if the Lord would have permitted me, if I brought the child, you would you just like, ha ha ha. So right from school when the gift was given and many things like that she began to manifest <laughs> i said okay so what is all this and everything like that if you can't understand though she doesn't i said for where i said what's that nonsense give me water put it in my mouth <sighs> Come on, get out again we did this yeah yeah since we can't stop you we'll stop her yeah i said you're mad your head is not correct <laughs> Unfortunately, you know what I did? I slapped the demon. It was ah, actually. Ah! As I did, twerk her. So I called the, the girl's name. Sprinkle more than more. Zion! Oi! Ha! Daddy! This was a child that was now already fighting with me before. Daddy! Ah! They've gone. I said, where did they go? <laughs> what happened? Listen to me, sir. What happened? They've cheated me. They did me. I was the next. They were to judge me. They were to this. They used to take other children's destiny. They've taken other people's destiny. I said, now, now that you are free, use your head. Go on now. Take, take authority. What am I saying? Forget about anointing. I'm telling you authority. I'm, I'm telling you what, sir. Authority. Your head can take and say he was afraid. That's what sometimes can happen. You can, there's that initial, oh my God. Oh my God, can I do this? Can I do this? But see, sir, the devil you're afraid of is already afraid of you. Let me tell you a secret that you don't know today. So you stand on the authority in the name and you use it. Now, look at this. Translate that scripture, Luke chapter 10 and verse 19. Kalameles. Listen, I am giving you authority so that if you oppose no, this is Jesus speaking. He didn't say, I will do it for you. It is you. Who does it, sir? You. If you oppose evil spirits, they will not hurt you. Is it that Jesus is lying or you don't believe? They will not hurt you. What if they hurt me? It's not you. If they can't hurt you. Authority. So what are you using, sir? Authority. Sir, look at this. I have given you authority to defeat your enemy satan nothing shall hurt you can you pass on it sir thank you now you understand that i have imparted to you my authority hi jesus had imparted to usa you and i is authority to trample over the devil's kingdom you will trample over every demon before you and overcome every power Satan possesses. Listen to this. This is the part I like. Absolutely nothing will harm you as you walk in this. Lift up your right hand and say in the name of Jesus. I walk in authority. Ephesians chapter 4 and verse 27. New life version, sir. I walk in this authority. Exercising your authority over the devil. Do not let the devil start walking in your life. Do not let the devil start walking in your life. You know what it means, sir? Okay. It means the devil wants to walk. So what did God say? Do not let. God did say, I will not let. It is you that must not let. Did you hear what I said, somebody? It is who that must not let. It is you. That must not let. Eh? God didn't say I will not let. It is you. So it is what you allowed that was allowed. Passion sir. He said don't give the slanderous accuser. The devil himself. An opportunity to manipulate you. Meaning the devil manipulates. Don't allow him to manipulate you. You that said you are standing for this sometimes ago, suddenly you have changed your mind. You have been manipulated. 
You that said this is blue, suddenly you say it's now white. You have been manipulated. Are you getting me blessed? Suddenly something has happened. There's a manipulation somewhere. Don't allow the devil to manipulate. It is any space uh, he's looking for. He's, see, the Bible calls him the accuser of the brethren. He says he's a slanderous accuser. He's always looking for every time. That's what the scripture says. Always looking for every minutest opportunity to exact. So in case you, you got it done today, he wants to come back tomorrow in another pattern. He's so stupid that he doesn't resist. He, won't, he doesn't desist. He wants to continue. He wants to continue, continue. But you must take your stand and not change your mind. Give me easy to read, sir. You will like this. Read with anger. Want to go. Huh? Don't give. Don't give, Judith. Don't give. Don't give is don't give. So if you are defeated, it's your fault. Woo! I take it personal with you. Don't give is don't give. Don't allow him to defeat you. You are not the defeated foe. You are the victorious ones. He is the defeated foe. Don't give him. Don't, please. I beg you, sir. Don't give him. So it is what we gave to him. So I'm taking it back. With anger. So I'm taking it back. James chapter 4 and verse 7. Let me remind you of your right again. Over this matter. Say resist. Submit yourself under the mighty hand of God. Resist the devil. Resist him. Resist him. Message translation, sir. Quickly. Look at this with me. So let God work his will in you. Yell a loud no. Do what, sir? Yeah. Huh? Sir. Sir, you know, oftentimes it's every, every you, you like saying yes to everything, any small thing. Oh. You yell it loud, water. No. no, let me tell you, let me tell you the truth. In a bit of retaining your sanctity in Christ, you must express some insanity. <laughs> Do you know what I said? In a bit of retaining your sanctity in Christ, you must express some insanity. Sometimes things we just and then you just from nowhere because you, are, you don't know you know what is happening in your mind you want to hear the shocker Jesus told me on Thursday he said the devil cannot possess the believer's spirit but he can possess the believer's mind he can't possess your spirit because you are born of the spirit the Holy Ghost owns your spirit because it is connected to Christ but he can possess your mind so suddenly you that used to say no to something or yes to something, you started saying no. You started compromising. Your mind is... And the Bible said, you see, God can control everything. It, it, it won't tamper with your mind. So, I'm not doing it again. See, it's okay. It's okay. It won't force you. Because God does not exert authority on people. I'll show you the scripture very soon. Do you understand what I'm trying to say? So you are the one that puts your foot on the ground. No! Return that scripture, sir. And let's do the word of God. I don't care what it is. Let's go. Read. Want to go. Hey, stop, stop. Let God walk his will in you. Ladies and gentlemen, look at this. God wants to walk his will, but he's saying, I can't do it. You have to allow me. So, let God walk his will in you. I can't walk my will in you. I can't exert my authority on you. I've given you the authority. Allow me. How will you do it? Read. Yell. Go. And watch him scamper. He will run. That's what it means. It will, it will ja. He will flee. Am I talking to someone? You are not yelling no from a faithless or a doubtful life or a spirit from the place of authority. I have authority over this matter because Jesus had given me that authority. So devil, no! Enough is enough. Let's play with that scripture. Give me God's word to the nations. I will show you something that is very important. Listen to this. So place yourselves under God's authority. Resist the devil and he will run away from you. 
Amplified, sir. So be subject to God. Resist the devil. Stand firm against him and he will flee from you. Easy to read, sir. So give yourself to God. Stand against the devil and he will run away from you. Free Bible version, sir. So place yourself under God's direction. Confront the devil and he will run away from you. Passion, sir. So then, surrender to God. Stand up to the devil and resist him. And he will turn and run away from you. Take note. Run away from you. Flee from you. Not from Jesus. From you. So you are the one to use the authority. Jesus, help me. Jesus, help me. That is not a new covenant believer's prayer. I take authority in the name of Jesus over this matter because Jesus had done it so I do I establish myself in the finished work of the cross and I impose who I am over this matter in the name of Jesus devil has it not been said I have authority over you therefore in Jesus name I possess this I disannul this. I establish this. I impose this. I say no to this. I accept this. I reject this. I bind this. I disannul this. Are you with me, somebody? Authority. First Peter chapter 5. Verse 8 said, Be sober, be vigilant for your adversary, the devil. What it about looking for whom you devour? Verse 9 said, He said, But what you do is to resist him steadfastly in faith he said knowing that the same suffering that is challenges suffering there is not talking about suffering suffering he's talking about challenges is okay the trials the troubles the challenges that you are experiencing is the same thing that is happening to you to the brotherhood the, the brethren the christian family all over the world nlt sir he said stand firm against him and be strong in your faith trb said stand firm when he attacks Shh. what do you do sir not cry when he attacks. Stand firm. What are you standing on? Your authority in faith. When he attacks. Passion said, give a decisive stand against him and resist his every attack with strong, vigorous faith. For you know that your believing brothers and sisters around the world are experiencing the same kind of troubles you endure. So you are the one to get it done, not your pastor, not your man of God, beloved. It's you. You have to get it done. Stop begging Jesus to do it because it doesn't work. Jesus told Kenneth again, it's a waste of time. That demon will have lorded it over him if he didn't take his place. It was not a special prayer. Prayer is a simple prayer. In the name of Jesus, devil out. Very simple. Are you with me, somebody? You won't fail again. Amen. I say you won't fail again. Amen. What I'm doing right now, I'm building your faith. Very soon, I'm going to release you. Is that okay? To pray and, and say no to some things. How can young people be dying in your family? And you say, it's okay. It cannot be, sir. It must not be, sir. And then you're afraid because there's an age you're about to get to. And you're scared. No, sir. A thousand times no, ma. You cannot... You cannot. How can everybody just be average? Nobody has lifted up their head. No, sir. No, no, no. It is a thousand times no. How can the devil be, be see, how can, he, how can he be interrupting your sleep with attacks? Interrupting your sleep with bad dreams? Interrupting your sleep with nightmare? It's interrupting your sleep with spirit of kubus and inkubus? Spirit husband, spirit wife? What an insult on who you are. What a bastard devil. Let him try it. Tell him to send them to me. Even in the dream, I'll, I'll declare myself victorious. Do you understand? Please get angry. This is nonsense around garbage. It's not supposed to be. Why are you turning yourself to a puppet in the hand of hand of all kind of people? Traditionalists, men of God, everybody. They just go from where to where, and then you are queuing for your turn. Your turn. For what? Has what? And can't you see it's not getting better? Meaning, there's something that is still missing. Probably, the, suddenly you go to meet them, and then there's a relief. A relief. A water. Tap your number, say relief. relief. Not a release, oh, a relief. So, just one day, two days, three, one week, oh, it's just better. Suddenly, 
one month after full measure pressure is going to stronger like than before it's because you are not standing in the place of your authority and say no do you understand what I'm trying to say no is no not maybe not probably not should he what was he saying I get what I'm trying to say I'm not sure no no is no sir and then if you need to say yes yes should be yes glory to God now hear this sir yeah. when you exert your authority victory is certain that's the one I like when you exact not if when you exert your authority or exercise your authority victory is certain there's no issue that you will not overcome you you have overcome you will overcome first john chapter 5 and verse 4 you know these are scriptures that you know but i want to alert you sir King James said, hey, whatever is born of God overcometh the world is the victory that overcometh the world, even our faith. NIV, sir. Can you do NIV? Let's read. Read. Want to go. That has. That has. So it, it has happened. Remember I told you before, sir you exert your authority from victory not for victory write it down you exert your authority from victory not for victory from victory the victory has happened what well, yes sir already so what god through christ in your authority display is asking you to do is to establish it exerting your authority from victory i know the good news the good news is that it's not just that's happened it is present continuous so any time any day you go, come to this light and you do it then it answers again glory to god even our faith the assurance of our faith is what brings us into this victory glory to god i say glory to god you know you know sir let me let me tell you the miracle about this thing this thing we are talking about it had been established the bible says from the foundation of the earth is a finished work that is the mystery is a what sir is a finished work so when are you to have your victory not now sir you have had it already so what you do in exercising your authority is to have it from faith from victory because it's already available do you understand what i'm trying to say there's nothing jesus can do again what has been done has been done the bible called him the lamb that was slain from the foundation of the earth revelation chapter 13 verse 8 <laughs> You have been set apart for victory. Kalamanes. Thank you, Father. I've been set apart for victory. Huh? Sir, do you understand? So, I'm exercising authority not because um, God is trying to arrange the victory. The victory is finished. Huh? Ah, in fact, that therefore, what I said first is, is not correct. It's not correct, correct. Huh? Because there's knowledge, there's higher knowledge. I've not been set apart for victory. I've been set up for victory. Do you understand what I'm trying to say? That's what has happened, sir. You have been what, sir? You have been set up. It's a set up for victory. He said the works were finished. They were finished, sir. They were what, sir? Hebrews chapter 4. Take it from verse 1. It's verse 3. I'm going, but take it from verse 1. Look up, look up everybody, look up, look up, please look up, look up. Therefore, since the promise remaining of entering his rest, you will enter his rest. He said, hey, let us fear, lest anyone, any of us, seem to have come short of it. You won't come short of that rest. 
Hear this? He said, for indeed the gospel was preached to us as well as to them, but the word which they heard did not profit them, not being mixed with faith in them that heard it. Tap yourself, say, faith is working in me. So I believe the word of God. Now, hear where we're going to. Look at this gently, sir. For we who have believed, who have what, sir? Do you believe, sir? Huh? For we who have believed do enter that rest. As he had said, so I swore in my wrath. Because this was, that was what happened to the children. He was angry with them. Now he said, he said, they shall not enter my rest. Although, sir, hello sir, see this. Although the works were finished from the foundation of the world. The works had been finished. God was just asking them, exercise your authority in faith. But they said, we are not. I said, okay, I changed my mind. Sir, what has been finished has been finished. Did you hear what I said, sir? I repeat again, sir. What has been finished has been finished. If you don't partake of the finished work, it's not anybody's fault. It's your fault. They say, go to the restaurant. Food has been made and then it's paid for. And you say, you are not going. Whose fault, sir? It's nobody's fault. You chose not to go. Am I talking to someone? Glory to God. Now, let me go to caution. I'm done exercising your, your, your authority over the devil. I get what I'm trying to say. So you, you impose it. Lord, this is what must be. Untimely death cannot be for me. I cannot experience this again. According to the word of God, I will not allow this to happen again. Guess what? I told you, resistance of your authority does not mean access. Does not mean rejection of your access. You stand on your confession. Don't shift your ground. The devil will change his mind. Are you with me, somebody? You stand on that. Now, listen to this caution and to help you. Listen. We have authority over demonic spirits, over evil spirits, over demons, over the devil, but not over human beings. Not over human will. Nobody has authority over human will. Please take note of that. You have the right to exercise authority over your life, over your family, over your household, but you don't have the authority over another man's life or his family. You don't. You see, authority is much, spiritual authority is much like the natural authority. Now, let me explain to you. Look up, look up everybody. I, I, I know you're getting stuff there, but look up. You see, my money, my money is my money. Chi, my money is my money. I have authority over my money. You don't have authority over my money. Except I give you permission. Do you understand? Huh? Now, let me bring it to your context. You have authority over your family. You have authority over your children. You do have authority over my own children and my family. Do you hear what I said? Can I repeat what I said? Huh? Do you understand? You must understand that. If you, you see, that's why someone like me, when you come to me and say you want to do this, I don't stop you. I permit you. If you beg and beg and beg and say, what's my own counsel? If I give you, oftentimes it's always boomerang. You know why? Because at the end of the day, you will still do what you want to do. So I've learned by experience. I allow people. Do you understand what I'm trying to say? The best I can do is to partner with heaven. That heaven will guide you. Do you hear what I say, sir? Listen to me. Listen to me again. And all the men of God understand my voice. Despite those, those men of God watching from other countries. Listen. Don't do it again. You have no authority over another person's will. If not, you are not practicing Christianity. You are practicing witchcraft and manipulation. You must serve me. You must serve me. You must obey me. It's a lie on the pit of hell. It's not right. Don't do it. Scripture has not afforded us so. Genesis chapter 1 verse 28. God said, hey, I've given man dominion. For 26 first, he said, I've given him dominion to be in charge. And I told you the word dominion from the Hebrew word rather, it means to have authority. Over this, over that, over that. Do you understand what I'm trying to say? It didn't say over human being. It said over every creeping thing. 
You are not a creeping thing. Free Bible, verse 28, sir. Genesis chapter 1 and verse 28. Free Bible, sir. Maybe you will get it, sir. Look at this, sir. God blessed man and then told him, reproduce, increase, spread uh, throughout the earth and control it, exercise authority over the fish and the birds of the air and over every creeping thing that moves on earth, not over man. Not over a human being. Don't lord things over people. It's not right. You have authority over your family. Don't get me wrong. You have authority over your household. You don't have authority over that person's household. You don't have authority over that person's life. Did you hear what I said, sir? You have authority over your own life. You don't have authority over that person's life. It's not right. It's not godly. It's not so. It's not scriptural. It's not according to the template of Christ's life. It's a caution so that your authority will not be questioned in the day of confrontation. I'm telling you this, which is real. I get what I'm trying to say. You must take note of that. Even God does not have authority over us if we don't allow him. That's why, sir, when altar call is made, it's an offer. Do you want to give your life to Christ? Do you hear what I said, sir? Hello, sir. You will agree with me. It was not the day, the first day you heard altar call. So, for so many of us, that was not the first day you gave your life to Christ. True or false? And so, what about man of God and everything? Now, listen to this. Maybe you'll get this. The only time you have authority over that person's life is in intercession. Write it down. <laughs> the only time Benin, you have authority over another person that is in the place of intercession you don't have authority over anybody's life don't manipulate them it's in the place of intercession are you with me somebody Look at this. Let me show you scriptures. Some scriptures. Is that okay now? So, so for instance now. Come to church. And then in the name of Jesus. I decree this, this, this to be out. Now the first thing as a man of God. Is that you came into my space. So I can exact authority. You know what I said? Huh? You came into my space. So in the name of Jesus. Huh? Is that okay? Now guess what? Guess what? I can't say you should try it. Because you are not possessed in Jesus name. Now guess what? So suddenly... You came into my space, and then I'm saying, in the name of Jesus, everyone, every spirit, get out, this one, this one. If suddenly you make up your mind that I won't be delivered, nothing will happen. That's how you see. You see, you see some giga manifestations now. And then some people, they now cross, meaning no go area. You know, go do shimba, nothing will happen. Do you understand what I'm trying to say? That's all. That's all. Do you understand what I'm trying to say? But if the person is struggling and in the sincerity of the spirit of the person, huh? Then you can, as a man of God, exert that authority over that person's life. But as a believer in Christ on a level playing field, you exert authority in the place of intercession. Guess what? You can't use authority you've not prayed on when it's got to do with matters like this. You are not praying for your family. And you now think that things will down when you now say in the name of Jesus, let it be. No, no, no. You must see, you must, especially when, when you have elderly ones, your seniors, and then you want their family to prosper. See, you must be, you must have been praying for them. Did you hear what I said, sir? It's a different case from your own family. You exact authority over your own direct because authority flows downhill. Write that down. I think that's one of the things you must learn. I'll, I'll still talk about that. Authority flows out, sir, downhill. Huh? It doesn't flow up ill. It flows down ill. So over your family, over your household, because they are connected to you, authority can flow. You can't now jumpstart authority. Now someone else's family, except through intercession, except they permit you. That's why authority serves is called permission. Delegated power. Can you remember? Grant. Second Corinthians chapter 1 and verse 24. Maybe you will understand the scripture. Look at this with me. Second Corinthians chapter 1 and verse 24. It said, not that we have dominion over your faith, but our fellow workers for your joy, for by faith you stand. Bible in basic English, sir. Second Corinthians chapter 1 and verse 24. It said, not that we have authority over your faith, but we are helpers of your joy, for it is faith 
which is your support. We don't have authority over your faith. Do you understand? Nobody has authority over your faith. You must understand that. Are you with me somebody? Nobody has. That's why the devil too has no authority over your life. Revised Standard Version, sir. He said, not that we load it over your faith. Nobody can load anything over you. It's not supposed to be. Nobody. Listen to me, sir. Nobody. Lift up your eyes and say, sickness, you can't load it over me again. Yes. Affliction, you can't load it over me again. <laughs> Depression, you can't load it over me again. <laughs> sir, sir, control your life yourself, sir. Control your life. Control your life. How can the devil be dictating the thoughts you should think? So they, they are glorious thoughts. When will you move to our asshole rock? When you move to my tama, the devil is not telling you you will die before your time. The devil is not telling you you won't get married. The devil is not telling you you will die of this sickness. Stop that devil. He can't load it over you. It's not scripturally right. Even God cannot. Genesis chapter 6 verse 3. God said, I can't, I can't, I can't load it over man. I can't strive with man. Man is a free moral agent. Don't let the devil have the final say over you again. Romans chapter 14 and verse 22. Passion. That's what the Bible says. Keep the convictions you have about these matters between yourself and God. See, what you know is what you know. Stand on what you know. And don't impose them on all others. Don't. It's witchcraft. Are you with me, somebody? Even Jesus said, when he gave them the authority in Luke chapter 10 and verse 19, before then in verse 6, message translation, sir, he said, when you, when you get to a place, even greeting, sir, greeting is by choice. Kabosh. Look at this with me. If your greeting is received, then it is a good place to stay. But if it is not received, take it back and get out. Don't impose yourself. Why are you not greeting me? You must greet me. Chapter what verse what? Has who? Do you hear what I said, sir? Don't. Do you hear what I said, somebody? Don't. You are practicing small, small witchcraft and you don't know. And you now want to use authority ultimately. No, sir. No, sir. Did you hear what I said? Huh? See, let me, let me, let me shock you. If suddenly you are close to all the great men of God. I don't know who they are. But suddenly they are now telling you. You must come and pay homage. You must come and bow to us. You must bring this for us. You are wasting your money. Wasting your life. There is no backing to it. You hear what I said? Don't waste things. Don't waste your life. On what is not scriptural. I am your head. Chapter 1 verse 1. Are you the one that claim hates you? Do you hear what I said? Are you getting what I am trying to say? Don't sir don't don't hey sir you want to hear the truth sir ah you must come and worship this person in our village if you don't do it we can you come come sir it is your mentality that will affect you ah the last person that didn't do the traditional the marriage is not sweet who told you that was the reason it's the spirit of fear that was the reason did you hear what i said somebody those that did it what was the proof what was the result Am I talking to someone? Don't go there. Don't go there. You have been free. Who the son has said free is free indeed. Jump and shout, I'm free indeed. I'm free. Sit down, sit down. Sit down. I don't know why I'm going to stop, but I have to rush this because I have to, I have to give you the caution. Um, I've given you caution. Secrets to exercising your authority. I'm going to rush this. Then you'll get it. Over Satan. Number one is this. Let go of unforgiveness. I beg you. Satan will always want to puncture your authority. One of the things you must fight against is unforgiveness. So you must practice forgiveness consistently. You must do what sir? Practice forgiveness consistently. Practice consist consistently forgiveness. Practice forgiveness consistently. Practice consistently forgiveness. Practice forgiveness consistently. You must. Don't give that space. 
2 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 11 is what you know. Say, hey, at least Satan take advantage of us. We are not ignorant of his devices. But let me shock you. Look at verse 10. Maybe it will help you. Listen to this. Hey, look at, look at this. Look at this. Sir. Now, whom you forgive anything, I also forgive. For if indeed I have forgiven anything, I have forgiven that one for your sakes in the presence of who? Christ. Therefore, next verse. Lest Satan should take advantage of us, we are not ignorant of his devices. So, you know, oftentimes we take it out of context. We're not, no, sir. He's talking about you, your place in ensuring that there's no root of unforgiveness around you. If not, your authority will be questioned, your authority will be declared null and void. Make sure you let go. Are you with me, somebody? Jesus said in John chapter 14, verse 30. He said, when the devil came to me, he found nothing in me. The priest of this world came to me, he found nothing. Nothing. He found nothing. See, when you live in unforgiveness, Satan claims many things in you and from you. So don't leave. Don't leave there. It's not an address you must accept. When you live in unforgiveness, Satan claims many things from you and in you. Don't allow him. Don't allow him. If you want to exercise your authority at any given time, no matter what whosoever has done to you, let them go. They don't want it. Finally, I say this, but it's not final. I've only given you one, one quarter of this, of this teaching. That's the end. Is that okay? Let me just say this so that we can pray. Ah. Learn to stay under authority. Learn to stay under authority. And I love what one or two people had said today, and I'm going to buttress on that. I beg you in the name of the Lord, learn to do what, sir? Stay under authority. Yeah? Brabiola, stay under constituted authority, spiritual or physical. You want to operate in authority, you must learn to stay under authority. That's where many people have missed it. I've seen men of God who casted demons and demons entered them. And I mean, you've you read that now. I read with the, as I pray for this one. Someone was sharing one testimony who I think it was last week or two weeks ago. As I pray, not here. I think I can't remember. As I pray, and then it was since that time I started experiencing it. It's because you don't understand. You are not under authority. You can't give what you don't have. Remember Matthew chapter 8, sir? Huh? Remember that centurion? I've showed you before. <laughs> So Jesus said he was coming to his house, saying, no, sir, don't bother. Huh? But now he said, uh, easy to be, sir. He said, I understand authority. For I'm a man under authority and I'm having authority. So if you're going to see or pray by authority, you must understand authority. And one of the things you must understand is that you must first of all be under so you can use authority. <laughs> so I, that's the reason why I can say go. It goes. The reason why I could say go, it goes, was because when those that were ahead of me said go, I went. Do you understand? Authority. You must see. You must understand this thing. Let me tell you what the devil does. When the devil wants to behead the believer, what it does, the devil starts making the believer to misbehave, to constitute authority. From spiritual one, to family one, to everything like that. Do you hear what I said, sir? And then suddenly, the covering over that person's head is removed. Then the devil can strike. Learn to be under authority so you can exert authority. I will not check my notes again because there will be so much. I say I have about 25 scriptures. I won't do it. Now let me talk so I can close. Listen to this. Huh? You see, someone just said something today. It doesn't matter how your husband is. The Bible said, even the unbelieving husband becomes sanctified by the believing wife. Don't worry, keep listening to me, I'll keep teaching you. Is that okay? Now listen! It doesn't matter how your husband is behaving. There's a scriptural donation to it. Even, I will show you, I will even show you. It's there. The Bible said, see, when the Bible said, wife, submit yourself to your husband, the original context is, wife, have be under the authority of your husband. Be under what, sir? 
the authority of your husband. Be under the authority of your husband. So for those of you who have that approach of insulting, pulling down, talking against, it doesn't work that way. Hey boy, he's a stupid man. That's you. I celebrate you for marrying a stupid man. Well done. But what do you do? Go on your knees and pray for him. Don't ever expose your husband's weakness to anybody. You are removing your authority. They will soon cut your head off. Never in your life do it. I speak to the beautiful women, married and unmarried. Don't ever. Don't ever. It doesn't matter. See, your yeah, yeah, man is a disgrace. Don't do it. That devil wants to bring you out of color. Go and check women that have done it. If they are still shining now, they are like a fan they've removed from the plug. It will soon stop. Stay under authority. If you are under an employer that is a demon, huh? oh God, I would love to show you four scriptures the Lord gave me on that. But don't worry, it's a message for another day because I need you to pray. See, it doesn't matter. Pray for the person. Don't, you are wicked. You are, don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. The best you can do, resign and walk out. What about my money that hoi me? Ah! Don't even fight for you for it. You know what will happen? The Bible call him the Lord of Sabbath. He's the God that hears the cry of every hired servant. He will strike. That's, let me give you that scripture so I can take it home. James chapter 5 and verse 4. He will strike. So be under authority. Be under authority. Be under authority. No, do you understand what I'm trying to say? See, as simple as your MSP. Eh? It does, if you think the person is not smart, hey, my show, don't try it. Just be there. Be quiet. Endure so that you can enjoy. Just be under authority. So you can use authority. Huh? So you can use authority. See, sir, I can tell you the truth. See, I've casted all kinds of things out in the life of people. When I'm confronted with eat or something, Authority will always be questioned. Remember Acts chapter 19. Those guys, when you read message translation of the, those seven uh, exorcists, those, the Bible called them vagabonds. They were the children, the seven sons of the man of God. Because your father is a man of God doesn't mean you're anointed. Though. Hey, mulu, mulu, she. Are you getting what I'm trying to say? And then they ask, Kaya, say, what authority? Are you, are you sick? Jesus we know. Paul we know. What, which authority are you standing on? You don't even have a covering. You know the, what the original margin was communicating? You know what the Bible said? They were the sons of the man of God. But the Bible called them seven vagabonds. You know why? They were not under the authority of their parent or their father. Though their father was a man of God. So that was the reason. The Bible said the devil, Victor, they, go and read it yourself. The devil stripped them naked out. The, have, you, have you seen that before? The devil, sir, because understand, his authority when they talk about. The reason why Paul, we couldn't hold Paul, was because Paul was under the authority of Jesus. Whose authority are you under? And they were not talking Jesus because he was spiritual. They were talking Jesus because Jesus was the head of Paul. Who's your own head? Your parents, you don't listen to them. And you think you want to exercise authority. It doesn't work that way. Even if they are wrong, daddy, explain to them let them understand not that you, you see i don't care you suffer your own i'll suffer your own leave me alone yeah. see the devil wants to remove your head he's using time to remove you to remove your head i'm going to hand this way thank you jesus some years ago precisely 2003 2003 yeah 20 years ago a lady walked into my office i was pastor no number then where I was as a pastor. You know what I mean by pastor number? There were other pastors, so I was not relevant. I was a young man in me, so she removed 20 years from my age then, so I was just less than 30. Is that okay? You know? So, and then, I just knew something was wrong. Something was wrong. To cut the long story was, she was highly possessed. Highly po You know, you've not seen things. That's why I laugh at young men who are using beauty and hospitality to judge and think that someone is right. I clap, I clap in Spanish for you. <laughs> and then, suddenly, from nowhere, I just started mumbling in tongues right under me. So just, uh, she just started making a statement. Small boy with big power. Ah, you this girl. That girl is not up to 18. As I'm talking to you, I remember her very well. Ah, 
Amy, small boy, big power. I didn't know what to say. But she's kept talking, small boy with big power. We have sent many people to you. You know what, what shocked me, Sister Yeti? Was, remember so so date? This girl, this is not what she came for. It was, we sent her. There was nobody there. Remember one time like this, you were going, someone called you and you look back and you saw someone you did like this. We're there. She gave me about five instances. I knew that. Hey, hey, well, hey. This one is real. These things are real. So I didn't need anybody to confuse. I knew that I was confronted with hell that day. Many things went through my mind. So I, I now I was calm. Thank God you heard Brother Ezekiel. It's a lovely and told, her, told him to be calm. I was calm. I don't know why I give, received the spirit of calmness because I was not calm. I don't used to be calm. I was calm. Suddenly, he don't know me because I, I heard the testimony of some men of God like Archbishop, like, um, like Pastor Tunde Bakari and Pastor Chris, um, Chris Okote. Then, of our, uh, Pastor Chris Okote and Pastor Tunde Bakari, they were casting out demons from a woman and suddenly, they didn't know, they miscontrolled, they didn't know what I would do. The woman, uh, Pastor Chris Okote precisely, the, man, the woman just grabbed him and everything and started shouting he raped me raped me ah me i'm not even started ministry what will i say <laughs> so my mind was just i just said let's go i carried that out huh? and i called this receptionist i said follow me then the end of campus you um uniben campus of, of the fellowship was around I said, ah the restaurant was a, it was is a graduate, and then the end of campus has anointed guys. I called them. Now today, two of them are pastors. So that was it. So I, then they were not pastors. I said, I called them. I said, come. So I took the lady to the center of the church. I said, let's begin to speak in tongues. Kalave, moko fene, kudu vadia, elu gata. You know that's why you are young can be very stupid. Elu gaba, miki 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 bo, udu ba ba ba. So she just mm, mm, mm. she look at me again. Small boy with big power. Come. This is not what I was sent for. I was sent to seduce you. Come. You can't do your assignment. See, let me tell you something. They have detail. Oh. They have detail. You are going to be great. She was telling me. They, God will use you, but will finish you before you get there. Huh? She was telling me. I was crying. Oh. <laughs> I was crying at the same time. I, I, I won't lie to you. I won't tell you the truth today. You know where everything has scattered after a while she was feeling the fire of the tongues but you could see that she was gaining reinforcement so from nowhere her voice changed a beautiful calm very in fact she, she oh my god don't worry this story maybe someone should write it and send it to good man i will give you the full detail later many sometimes again because she began to tell me this man of god will fail him that man of god will fail him this one in my office this one's this is how we used to do it this is how we connect in churches we don't come one we come four five so if you miss it on you miss that one the young man that has great prospect we just trap them since we can't get the man of god we trap him trap them because they are connected to the launch of the man of god let's leave that by the way don't worry we'll talk about that one of these days there are lessons of life since many have told you like stories you can see them their eyes are open even some people they were not rising before they were not yes not, yes not, yes Now hear this, sir. Listen to this. She now said, from a deep, strange voice, she just from nowhere, who are these two? Ah, I don't understand. So who are these two? See these two. She made a statement. She said, if not that you were here, they would have slept with me in front of this altar. Eh? Guess what? I remembered a man of God. Who are two pastoral assistants? Is a is a he used to conduct deliverance. He was counseling. I think I've shared this story before. He was counseling another another set of people. Then this girl came for deliverance. He now told his two assistants, "Go and cast out the devil from her." He just what is ah? He now discovered that ah, one hour, almost good to two hours, they were not back. So he came out. The inside the sanctuary, sir. David, real life is not a rock. Is not on video. This real. They came out. He came out. So what is this? Pastor 3 now says, Sir, is Pastor 2 is my turn. Do you understand? Open, open. 
two married men open the pastor two was already having life he thought he said ah, so, ah. do you understand sir so sir it played yeah, and you see I thank God for such experiences because it made me strong now so immediately she said who are these two if not for you they will have been sleeping with me here right now ah. I said why do you know what she said she said look at that one he, say, he said he's the president of he does, she doesn't know him he said he's the president of campus Fellowship. he's not campus Fellowship. Ah. I don't want to call his name he said, look at him. He doesn't even listen to the resident pastor. Yeah. Authority, sir. Hey, hold on. He said, the reception. He said, look at him. He does what he likes. He does what he likes. He said, you. God saved you. Huh? Guess what, sir? I, I, I excuse. Oh, yeah. Start going. Let me face this one. This is me and my destiny. <laughs> and then I was still growing as a man of God. I said, Lord, I don't, I mean, I don't understand. But she just gave me a secret. Because you see, when you wind there, they'll give you a secret. She just gave me a secret. I need to be under authority. So I began to, I began to use the authority I was working under. I don't want to call that name. So in the name of Jesus, it's because I'm under here, I am called, I obey, I therefore decree. Out! I succeeded. Though. Whose authority are you under? Don't let the devil mess what Jesus has done in your life. Rise to your feet. Out of our beds shall flow rivers of living water. I hear the sound of many waters. A sound from heaven. A sound that transcends the heavens and finds expression upon the earth. The sound of the Spirit. Oh, Kali Nada Dosa Bari Da Kali Nada Dava Sit up and high in the wood of Holy Abba Attune your spirit right now And melody with the sound Hit him on your heart Mmm 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 